Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing the easiest and most delicious strawberry trifle recipe. You don't even have to turn your stove on. That's right, no baking and no cooking. All you have to do is combine all the ingredients together and you've got yourself a crowd pleasing, gorgeous and delicious dessert. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using some Cool Whip vanilla pudding, angel food cake, and of course, lots of fresh strawberries. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this amazing dessert. Today I'm gonna to be using a simple strawberry puree to soak my angel food cake. So in a bowl here, I have two cups of strawberries. You can use fresh or frozen, and I'm gonna drop these into my food processor. To my strawberries, I'm gonna add 1 4th cup of white granulated sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of dry sherry. And dry sherry is like a sweet dessert wine. Now if you don't wanna add the alcohol, you can just omit this all together. And I'm gonna give this a whirl until my strawberries are nicely pureed. I'm gonna empty out the strawberry puree into a bowl and then set this aside. So for this recipe, you'll need any type of simple white cake. So I picked up some angel food cake at my local bakery, but if you can't find angel food cake, you can even bake your own white cake and use it for this recipe. So I'm just slicing it up and then uh, cutting each slice into small cubes. And now on to my trifle filling. So today I'm using some instant vanilla pudding and this is a 5.1 ounce package. I'm gonna dump the entire contents into a bowl and I'm gonna prepare it according to package instructions. So this particular package calls for three cups of cold milk. I'm gonna measure this out in my measuring cup here. And I'm just gonna whisk this around until that pudding uh, mixture dissolves in my milk and it starts to set up. To my set pudding, I'm gonna add in eight ounces of cream cheese that I've softened at room temperature. And then I'm gonna use my hand mixer to combine the cream cheese and the pudding together. And now for my final ingredient, I'm gonna be adding a 16 ounce tub of Cool Whip. So I took this out of the freezer and placed it into the refrigerator last night so it's nice and thawed. And I'm gonna add nice heaping spoonfuls of it right into my pudding. And I'm gonna use my spatula to very gently fold in my whipped cream into the pudding. You wanna make sure that whipped cream stays really light and fluffy. And now it's time to put together a trifle. So today I'm using this decorative trifle bowl and I've also sliced up some strawberries vertically that I'm gonna to use to garnish the sides of the bowl with. All right, so now I have everything ready to put the dessert together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the angel food cake that I've cubed. I'm gonna dip it into my strawberry puree here just use some tongs and coat it in there really nicely. And then I'm gonna drop it into the bottle of my trifle bowl. Next, I'm gonna add in a layer of my prepared filling. Just use a large spoon and drop it into the bottom of the bowl. Next, I'm gonna add a layer of chopped strawberries. And now it's time to add that decorative strawberry border. So you wanna take your sliced strawberries and kind of press them down into the filling and just build a border along the edge here. I'm gonna add another layer of my angel food cake soaked in the strawberry puree. And I'm just gonna keep repeating the same process, angel food cake, cream, strawberries, all the way until I filled up my entire trifle bowl. And that's it guys for my strawberry trifle recipe. It's the perfect dessert if you don't wanna bake or cook anything, but you still want an amazing dessert. So once you have the trifle assembled, you can dig in right away or place it into the refrigerator, let it chill for about four to six hours, or you can even leave it in there overnight. All that's left to do now is dig in and give this a try. Mmm. 
Guys, this is absolute perfection. I love the flavor here. Lots and lots of fresh strawberries from the chopped strawberries and the strawberry puree. But my favorite part is that dreamy, amazing filling. It's so creamy. It has a slight vanilla flavor from the pudding, that whipped cream and the cream cheese, all those flavors combined together with the angel food cake and the strawberries. Just amazing. You guys will love this dessert. I guarantee it. So if you have a large family gathering, picnic, dinner, any kind of get together, this is the perfect dessert. Plus it's super easy to serve. All you have to do is just drop a large spoon in there, hand out some dessert bowls and you're all set to go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.